Let's talk about Iran now. There's a there's a uh, protest movement sweeping Iran in which very brave young women are burning the hijabs that their male or religious overlords force them to wear. The protests were in response to the to the were in response to the death of 22 year old Masa Amini, who was arrested for wearing her hijab too loosely two weeks ago and was beaten to death. The ABC curiously described her having quote fallen into a coma while in custody. But that aside, since then, there have been widespread protests in Iran. And I even saw one video of a member of the morality police who had slapped a woman in the street. Then he got surrounded by other men and he got beaten up. Alexandra, this story isn't getting much coverage. Why is the leftist media not celebrating this popular uprising? Well, this is a huge problem, this story, uh, particularly for left-wing privileged women in the West uh, and especially for politicians. So we've had this game almost going, this social politicking, where politicians, female politicians, have been donning hijabs in order to try and up their woke virtue points among certain opinion polls. Now that is uh, by many migrants who've escaped theocratic countries where the hijab is not just a religious symbol, it's also a system of patriarchal control, which you'd think the left would be against, but not when it comes into clashing with their other identity groups. Well, they don't know what to do because uh, they've actually put themselves in a mutually exclusive position. They either support women who are burning their hijabs and opposing this oppressive patriarchal and religious regime that has subjected them to basically uh, their property almost for men, or they continue to support what they've been spending five or ten years doing, which is this whole work virtue circling, I've worn the hijab to show my solidarity with this community. Now, you can't do both. And uh, unfortunately, people like we had Julie Bishop, for instance, who went overseas and she donned a hijab when she didn't have to. But then you had other politicians like Condoleezza Rice who did not. So there's two schools of thought here. And unfortunately for most Australian privileged politicians, they have come down very firmly on the side of let's support the hijab and to hell with the poor women in Iran who are trying to escape this horrific system of government that they've only had for, you know, a few decades. It's not been this way forever for them. Yeah, I just, I can't admire them enough, to be honest. I mean, they are imprisoned uh, very easily and um, many of them disappear. So their bravery is extraordinary, Spe especially compared to the, <laughs> the feminists who whine about living in modern developed uh, industrial nations like Australia. Yeah, that's feminism. Forget about this whole let's strip naked and paint weird stuff across your chest. The women in Iran are taking a real risk against their government and they are displaying true strength of character. They are, yes.